to check if x comma y is the solution to the linear system we need to see that if um, it would fit both equations so for example if we want to check to see if this 0 comma 2 is the solution to this system here we start with the first equation we pluck x equals to 0 and y equals 2 in the first equation so we're going to do 5 times 0 plus 3 times 2 because x is 0 and y is 2 and then we're going to see if that's going to come out to be 6 we don't know yet because if it's if it equals 6 then yes we say that's a solution but if it doesn't equal 6 then the left and the right hand side is not balanced so we don't say that it's a solution so um, 5 times 0 is 0 3 times 2 is 6 0 plus 6 is 6 so that's the left hand side and the right hand side is also 6 so so that means this solution fits the first equation now we're going to do the same thing to check the second one so like 10 times 0 plus 6 times 2 and then we're going to see if that's 12 so 10 times 0 is 0 6 times 2 is 12 0 plus 12 is 12 so yes it equals 12 so the left hand side and the right hand side equals each other so that's why we're going to say that in conclusion this solution is the solution for the whole system here so sometimes if you have one or both equations that's not uh, balanced then you can't say that that's a solution so for example let's check this guy here so we're going to do the same procedure we're going to see if um, this if we plug in both equations what would happen so let's just plug in the first one to check so 5 times x is 2 this time plus 3 times y y is negative 3 this time and we want to see if that is gonna be 6 so 5 times 2 is 10 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 if we add them that's gonna be positive 1 well now you can see that on the left hand side we got 1 but the right hand side is 6 so the left hand side and the right hand side does not equal each other so this solution does not work for this equation so at this point we can just say no here because in order for the solution to work for the whole system both equations have to be true but if we already found one is not true then we don't have to check the other one